I want, I want, I want. What's in it for me? Well, guess what? You can serve God and get what you want. Because if you are willing to, to impact people, if you're willing to give of yourself, you're willing to smile, you're willing to say hello, you're willing to do a lot of little itty-bitty things, you're going to feel good about it. Last year I started doing that in the spring semester. I just opened doors randomly for people or I would um, just say hello or just try and be kind of, you know, positive and just excited about things. And when I got done, like, opening doors, I was like, yeah, I just did that. You know, that's sweet. But I didn't do it. God just gives me that. And I want that for everybody here. I want everyone to realize that you can make a difference. That's my dream. It's the little thing we do that make a big impact. Like I said, you don't have to be Billy Graham. You don't have to have some great sermon to prepare. You don't have to, you know, move mountains. You don't have to, you know, do something huge. You know, like, don't be like the most successful person in the world based on the world standards. You just need to be faithful to God. I need to let God just resonate in you. So that through that, He can be revealed to other people. I always use this analogy, and everyone makes fun of me about it. But if you ever look at the stars at night, which stars stand out to you? Which ones? Somebody. The bright ones. Doesn't seem like a big deal. Doesn't seem like a big deal. The bright ones stand out. Why do they, what does that mean? When I look up in the sky, why do the bright ones? The bright ones stand out because their energy source, when they are, but I'm not a big science guy, but I believe this, their energy source, it's greater, and then as they travel through the darkness, when they get to Earth here, they, they're just brighter. They're brighter. And I feel the same way about, about us as Christians. We want to be the bright star. We have a handful of pennies, and they're all dull. When they're all like, oh, these are nasty. Which one do you pick out? I always pick that giant one. I'm like, check out this penny. <laughs> we want to be that for people. We want to be that bright star. We want to be the shiny penny. And we can because God allows us to. We just have to allow Him to. We have to allow Him to to move in us and to work in us. We can be the bright star. We can be the shiny penny. We can make a difference. And this, this speech is entitled, I have a dream. Well, I do have a dream. I dream that this campus would come alive. As Ryan said the other day, I dream this campus would wake up. You can make a difference. You matter to people. You matter a ton. I have people on track. I was injured all track season. I had, a, I had a groin injury. And I got back to practice, and the first day I got back, one of my teammates said, man, you look smooth. You look good, you look like you're running well. And I said, no, no, that's such a, okay. That was huge for me. That made my day, that helped me keep going. It's just a little thing. <coughs> what I'm trying to tell you is, <laughs> people are excited, they just, whoo, they just jump up in their mouth. All I'm trying to tell you is, you can make an impact. You can make a difference. I'm going out, I'm leaving, I'm done with school in about a month. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to in about a month. But I'll tell you one thing. Northwest, I'm prepared. I'm ready. Some days I don't feel like it, but you just got to keep telling yourself you're ready. I want to go make a difference. I'm not going to be a preacher. I mean, I don't, maybe hope not. I don't know. <laughs>